To start, first we're going to make is the base of the cake, which basically is sugar, is uh, butter and egg, the very classic way. You got to remember that this is not just a very simple plain cake, but this is a cake base, but that's going to be mixed up with fruit, and which is apple in this case. So it's all mixed together. So it's more of a kind of an apple, dense apple cake. So we're going to make a small batch of the cake mixture, but fold in a lot of apples into it. Now I have got apples here, which I have uh, sliced. I've soaked it into cold water and put a little lemon juice to prevent it from getting dark and dirty color. Uh, it does discolor slightly, but that is perfectly okay. So to start off, first thing is goes in the butter at room temperature. And in that, I add sugar. Now I'm going to use um, light brown sugar here. You can use a uh, white sugar, but I just feel uh, the brown sugar gives a very nice kind of a flavor to the dish. And now, I just cream the sugar and the butter together. So all I'm doing at this stage is basically breaking down the sugar and mixing it with the butter. So I'm going to cream it together till it melts. There we are. You can see the color has now changed, it's become almost whitish. At this stage, I'm going to crack in one egg. Beat that together. Fold in some sliced almonds, gives a little texture. And I'm going to use ready-made orange marmalade, but I just think uh, it gives a very nice kind of a flavor to the apple. It uh, tastes quite nice. Uh, I had put less sugar initially in my cake, so I'm going to use a large tablespoon of orange marmalade. Again, this is entirely optional. I really like it a lot, and I think it's a very nice flavor because the peels of the oranges are slightly bitter. It's got a very nice flavor, and it enhances the cake's flavor also. To mix that together. In this, I'm going to add a little bit of baking powder. And I'm going to add cinnamon powder. Cinnamon and apple goes quite well. Just mix this all together. So it's more like a batter consistency which I want. I've gone low on the egg quantity. I don't want it to become very eggy. I want the flavor of the eggs to come through. And then goes in flour. Again, this recipe has got more of apple than of the dough because it's basically more of an apple which is bound together by the cake dough. To mix that together, and you can see the pieces of oranges are all spreading up into the thick batter. This is almost ready. In this, I now add my slices of apple. Now, I use the red apples, but there's nothing stopping you from using the green apples. Only thing is the green apples are very sharp, quite acidic, but they have a very nice crunch. Uh, I do also like that, but for this recipe, I like to use red apples. So squeeze out all the excess water. And now, gently fold the apple. So with a spatula, I fold the apple into the batter. So all the batter does, the cake batter does, is basically bind or hold the apples together. There we are. The apple mixture is done. Now I have a cake tin here, which I've lined with some butter paper or a greaseproof paper. And all I do now is basically spoon out the apple into the cake tin. to spread the apple in the cake tin. So it's a lot like an apple tart with a custard, but instead of a custard, you're actually going to get a cake base. 
this will now go into a preheated oven at 150 degrees centigrade or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 25 to 30 minutes till the cake mixture is ready and done. The cake really smells nice. Here we are. Nice and golden brown on the top. Now if you look at the cake, uh, it begins to slightly crack open, means it's almost cooked. And the best way to check the cake is to uh, prick a little knife or a little uh, toothpick to see if it is uh, done or not. If it uh, sticks onto the knife tip, means it is still raw inside. I'm going to put it back. So let's have a look. You see that? It's about nice and clean. Which tells me that the cake is cooked completely. Also, it has left the sides, which is a good sign, which means that it is now ready. I will let it rest for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to cut it and enjoy. Cake is now ready. I'm going to transfer it to a little plate. In our home, the cake is generally eaten nice and fresh from the oven, so it's nice and hot still. So I'm going to basically just uh, lift this up from the grease proof paper and put it directly on the plate. And that is just how my wife and my kids like to enjoy the cake. I'm going to now dust it with some icing sugar. So I've got a little icing sugar here. So all I do is just dust icing sugar on top. You can actually add a flavored icing sugar by adding some cinnamon powder in this if you like. The choice is yours. There we have it. So there we have it. My simple but rich apple cake. More of apple than actually a cake. The cake was just a binding agent to hold it together. I'm going to dive into this, but make sure you guys at home make it for your friends and family and do not forget to tag me.